Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're well. Let me say a quick few hellos and then we'll crack on. Hello, Ian Fincham. Ian Fincham has this is Christmas afternoon free bet time as well. And Ian Fincham has a hundred pound free bet. We'll get to that in a minute, Ian. Lee Wilson, hello. Lee Barrett, hello. Imri. Imri has a hundred pound free bet. Uh, Darren up the hips, Dylan up the well. Look at those little Scottish boys next to each other there. Lovely Pat Harvey, Neil Cave, hello from uh, Guernsey. Neil, hello. Jim Stanley. Hello, Tim Clark. Hello, Andy. Hello, Paul Wilson. Hello, Morris Scott. Andy. Kevin Kelly's in the house. Alan Parks. BK. Martin. Hello, up the Lincoln. Andrew Thornhill. Gaz. Chris. Jason. Visualite. Andy Mitchell. Chris Osborne. Um, Rob G. Oh, Lordy. Sam Clay. Joe Hamilton. Hello, flipping it. They're all in today. Must be a quiet afternoon around the world. Ike, hello. Paul Morris. Hello. Gerard Gray. Hello. Hope you're all well. All right. And hello to anybody I've missed. And Harry Monk, everybody. Apologies if I've missed you. Right. I'm going to run you through. Um, as, there's going to be loads of these over time and loads of it. Can we cover this? Can we cover unders? Can we cover lay the draw? We'll get to all of it in time. But obviously, can only do one thing at a time. One of the questions I was asked before Christmas was, uh, I talked about trading in and out. Like, if you've only got a couple of hours to spend, and obviously you might do some research in the morning and nothing's in those timelines, and then you feel you can't do anything. So I'm going to show you how you could go about looking at a specific time slots. So I'm going to look at the 2.30 and 3 o'clock kickoffs, uh, giving myself 29 minutes to run through it. I'm going to go quite quiet between... 2.30 and 3 o'clock because I've got quite a lot for myself today so I'm going to have to do some price checking and uh, little bits but I'll be here but I'll just be beavering away. Um, first proper week back after Christmas this is. Um, I've got some full games. So I'm going to, just going to run you through how you could use uh, FTS Data Advanced to look at a section of games. I don't know whether anything's going to come up. It could be one of these damn squibs. Uh, that's the joy of the game. But it's something that you guys could do if you thought, right, I know I can only trade at 7 o'clock in the evening because I've got kids during the day and I've got to go through uh, shopping in the afternoon or whatever. Uh, and I can only do how you can look at a section of games using FDS Advanced Day to One Tool and see if there's anything that qualifies. Hello, Bjorn, you've got free bets. The guys with the free bets, I'll get to you after this. If you 100% uh, know what game it is you want to put that on, put it in the chat. I'll try and keep up, but I'll confirm them as we go. There's no games kicking off until 2.30 and 3 o'clock, so I'm not going to miss anything in the next half hour. Uh, right, so I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to switch to using the mega table. Oh, hang on a minute, he says that. Already haven't got the right sheet open. FTS Productions. Uh, right, I'm going to open. I'm going to take a copy of that actually because that will get overwritten in time. And I'm going to paste it in there so that I've got a version that I'm not going to upset anybody else. Afternoon, Derek. Afternoon, Paul Yarwood. Paul Yarwood's got a fifty-pound free bet. They're all. It draws them in, doesn't it? The old free bets. Oh, Christmas dinner winner. Got a Christmas dinner winner as well. The Christmas dinner winner is, and I bet he's not in here, but if you are, say hello, is Daniel Williams. You are the Christmas dinner winner. You are what the good lady picked out as, in fact, she said, I could eat one of these now. That's what she said. Not bad for me. I've done it on January the 20th. Normally I do it in about uh, uh, September. Right, let's share this screen. Let's get on with this. Hi, Jorgen. Lovely to see you. You want me to back over 1.5 first half goals at Bosham, Imri? Okay, you trading that at all, or is it fixed odds? 1.5 at Bosham, okay. Let me get that market loaded up. Hang on, see. This is, what an afternoon this is going to be. This has got the recipe for an absolute disaster. Bosham, Stuttgart, first half 1.5. It's in. First half 1.5, Okay. Fixed odds, okay. I'm going to put that on now then, and then it's done and I'm out of the way. So we're having 100 quid on Bosham first half 1.5. Uh, right, let me do that. Do, do, do. Hold on a minute, hold on. Uh, right, Imre, you are on. Right, I'm going to do, I'm going to do. I'm going to do Bjorn's as well. Back over 3.5 goals in FC Köln Dortmund. Yeah, that's a 2.30 kickoff. I'll do that one because I'll forget that. Back in it and leaving it, Bjorn. Uh, 
Hello. Can we? Fixed odds for Bjorn over 3.5. Okay. And you've got Bjorn, you've got 100 quid. Okay. 100 quid going on. Over 3.5. Filling this up now. Over 3.5 at FC Colm. Right. I'll get to the rest in a minute. Okay. They're on. Right. Let's share this screen and do this. Share screen, window, do 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 I'm going to keep the key odds for the minute because we're going to have a look at them. I'm going to keep the half time six game XG because I'm going to use that. I'm going to keep the six game match XG because I'm going to use that. So I'll get rid of the rest and I'm not going to use any of that. And I'm going to keep the six game value columns because I'm going to use them. Let me just hide all that and get down. Uh, let's just get rid of that. There. Afternoon, Chris, Jim. Uh, right, so there we go. Uh, so all I've done here now is I've just trimmed this sheet down to 2.33 o'clock kickoffs. I've got the over 2.5 odds. I've got the six-game match XG, and I've got some value columns. I'm going to do my favourite two filters. Now, these are the current odds, by the way, so I can get rid of these. I'm going to keep only keep games where over 2.5 is odds on. So I'm just going to get rid of all them. I could have gone on and done 101 to 1.99, but just as quick to do that. And I'm only going to keep games that have got a match XG greater than 2.76. So I'm going to get rid of those. So that now leaves me for 2.30 and 3 o'clock. What we've got? 10, 12 games potentially to go through. 11 games to go through. So we're going to start off. Oh, this will be interesting for uh, Imri. We're, we're going to start off with Bochum Stuttgart. Uh, all I've got now is the odds, so the current odds for the goals markets and the value columns. And I don't need the match odds value columns because I'm not going to use them. I'm only looking at the goal markets. And I can look across here and go Bochum Stuttgart, Bochum Stuttgart, oh, evening Alistair, afternoon Alistair, afternoon Lee, afternoon Andrew, uh, and go, are there any games there that have got any um, value in them? Uh, in the odds against our figure, basically the, these value columns, for those of you who are new, this is, we've got an FTS model odds. Um, I've hidden that column, um, created from our calculation. And then we look at the Betfair odds and we say, have we got value on Betfair compared to our price? In effect, I want a bigger price on Betfair than our model is um, creating. So the Bochum game, um, who was it, Imri? Imri, we've been in it off, son, I'm afraid, because it doesn't uh, have any columns, any them with value so i'm going to get rid of that one and i will just work down to the next one so now heidenheim you can see heidenheim we've got value in the first half goal market we've got value in every single goal market and both teams to score so all i'm going to do is that we've got on fts data advanced a really simple tool called the mega table uh, which basically enables me to um, examine all this stuff really quickly and uh, see if historically in the games where we've got value in that market using that model, does it make any money? So I'm going to start if we just I'm going to flip between the two sheets here for the minute. So we've got 1.56% value in the first half goal market. So we've got a half time first half XG. We've got a price. The price on Betfair is bigger than our model made it um, by a small percentage. I'm going to go to my mega table analysis. I'm using first half goal. I'm using six games. Uh, the value is between 0.01 and 10. You can see on that sheet it's 1.56. I've just put that in a band of 10. Um, and I'm going to include all odds. So 101 to 1,000 will pick up every game. So basically this sheet now is picking up every game that's got value between 0.01 and 10 in the six-game model, looking at the first half goal market. And all I do is read across in the German Bundesliga. And you can see in the first half goal market, it actually loses 1.4 points. But in the first half 1.5 market, it's top. So you might look at this and go, 
well, it loses in the first half goal market, but it's negligible. But it does win in this market here. So I'm just going to have a look and see the number of games there. I mean, it's going to be a couple of hundred, I expect. It might be more even. I don't know how many. 229. What a good guess that is. 229 games. So 229 games, basically the first half goal market breaks level. But the first half 1.5 market wins 10%. Wins 24 points, 10% of 229 games will be 22 points, so or 22.9 for those who like to be pernickety, and we've got a few of them. Uh, so all I'll do with this, I'm going to nick this game now. I'm going to pop it down here a minute. I'm going to just go over here. I'm just going to build myself a little trade in this, and I'll build it on this sheet. So I'm just going to put first half 1.5 from it, just as a market of interest, but I'm just going to have a look at the rest now. So now we're moving into the full goal markets, one and a half, two and a half, three and a half. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to start with the 1.5 market. So I just need to change that one. Really still using the six game model. I'm going to check my value figure, which is still between zero and 10. So for the 1.5, it's zero and 10. In the 2.5 and 3.5, you can see it's over. It's into 10, 01 and 20. So I'll break it into 10s. So between zero, 01 and 10, German Bundesliga, it's second. So I'm going to pop that in next to my sheet because that's second now in the 1.5 there. And then the 2.5 greater than 15. I won't worry about the 3.5. It's not a, I don't do a massive amount of backing in the 3.5. I'm going to change it to 2.5. But now the value is 10.01 to 20. 10.01 to 20. And we're looking at the 2.5 market, which is here. German Bundesliga 1, 17.76. So what we're seeing with our model is in the German Bundesliga, when we're getting value, we've got profit, decent profits in... The first half 1.5, 1.5 market and 2.5 market. So now I can go, right, I'm interested in those. We'll talk about how we'll play them in a minute. I'm just going to fly through a couple more games. Now, if you can just look at these Belgian games, we can see we've got no value. So uh, Belgium and Blackburn or Genk and Blackburn, I'm going to get rid of them just to shorten my list down there. So the next game we've got value is Freiburg, but it's first half only. So we already know that from the Heidenheim game, 0 01 to 10, that there's value in the first half 1.5, but we haven't got the backup this time of the 1.5 and 2.5 because we haven't got value there. So I'm just going to nick that. Remember that it was lost tiny in the first half 0 0.5, but done well was the top league in first half 1.5. So I'm going to whack that there. We've then got Middlesbrough in the championship. Middlesbrough in the championship, over 10 value in first half goal market and then between 0 and 10 in all the goal markets so once you get to it you can get quicker if you've got any questions ask me i probably won't answer them but you can ask away so first half goal market between 10 and 20 in the championship first half goal is the top league look at that in the championship middlesbrough is the top league uh for um first half goals there so Go back to my rolling master. I'm going to grab that Middlesbrough game there. Copy it. Pop it down here. Paste. You can see it's top league first half goal. And then while I'm here, as you get good at this, you start to learn that Plymouth's in the same league. Similar sort of numbers for the first half goal. So I can grab that one as well. And I'll grab that and I can pop that down here as well. And go first half goal there and Sheffield Wednesday we'll just do the first half goal one while we're there the Sheffield Wednesday is 0 0.01 to 5 uh, 0 0.01 to 10 in the value so we have 0 0.01 here to 10 and look at the championship and see what a difference that makes see what a difference it makes in the first half goal when we've got over 10 percent value we're absolutely flying when we've got uh Less than 10% value is the worst league you could be betting in. Um, so that's the that's the power of the models. And and what you don't want to do is put these bands too close together. You don't want to go really close. Try and, you know, 10's plenty. You could even go to 15, but 10's plenty. Do it in 10's. But you can see the massive difference between the ones that just creep into value, don't win money, but the ones where we've got big value, it's the top performing league. Uh, so we don't need that game in there. Uh, go back to my rolling master. Normally, I do this on two screens, by the way, but obviously I'm flicking backwards and forwards because uh, you lot are nicking screen space. Um, 
So while I'm here, I may as well do these two of the same. You can see they've got 10 to 20 in the 1.5 and 20 and above in the 2.5 and 3.5. So Plymouth, Sheffield, Wednesday. So we've got 10 to 20 in the 1.5 market. Championship 1.5. Third League 2.51. Let's just have a look. I'm imagining this, this is going to be a lot of games, maybe. 300 games for two points doesn't really interest me. And 300 games for nine points in the 2.5 market. I'd want to see at least 25, 30 points. I want something getting on 8, 10% ROI. Um, so I'm not even going to bother with that one for those games. So that Sheffield Wednesday, I'm just going to get rid of as we go. So I'm going to bin off Sheffield Wednesday there because it's all there. Right, we've got Plymouth Cardiff. Uh, no, we've done that one. Sorry, so I can bring Plymouth off as well. We looked at the first half goal and that was it because it was over 10, but I don't need it anymore. And then Middlesbrough, all our goal markets are between 0 and 10. So let's just have a look between 0 and 10. I'm going to do the first half 1.5. You kind of get an idea and that loses there. And even if I change it now to the 2.5, I don't think you're going to see much of great excitement in the championship yeah i mean i'm going to look it's three points but let's just have a look at the games again it's going to be a lot of points yes 262 games to make three points in the two and a half market so not something i'm interested in you want numbers that stand out those of you who watched last week's so when i did the in play the lil game the numbers stood out you almost want them where you go flipping neck. i can't turn that down uh, as opposed to or oh, I'll put that in because it is a bit of profit and I can have a bet. You know, ultimately we could do this and we don't have a bet at all. We then got two games in League One, no, three games in League One. Uh, we got next to no value in F Fleetwood. So I'm not even going to bother with it when I look across that. You've got nothing in the first half, nothing in the both teams to score. In fact, decimating the first and only just tickling over value in the 2.5. So I don't need Fleetwood. We'll bin that off. Paul Yarwood wants Millwall, Millwall away win at QPR. Fixed odds, Paul. Let me just put that on. I like this. I'm going to cheer you all on. QPR, Millwall, match odds. And just to be clear, you only win the winnings. I did this for somebody once and they expected me to give them all the stake as well. Uh, can I have Millwall away win at QPR? Do you want fixed odds, Kevin Marshall? Hello, stump, you idiot. Uh, and you want first half 1.5 at Heidenheim, Ian. Right, Ian. Uh, right, Paul, if you can answer if you want me to bet and forget it. Ian Fincham, do you want me to enter pre-match that if you're going to trade it and trade on the goal or do you want me to enter at any time? Fixed odds, please. Okay, it's full with new mark, Marks, new cars. All right, Paul, you are on. So you've got Millwall away. done uh and ian if you let me know how you want just how you want me to play that where did i get to i got to uh league one didn't i it's all on you marky boy um right league one Ply one plymouth league one plymouth so Ply all of these are 10 to 20 plymouth peterborough and wigan for first half goal so we got our mega table analysis we're gonna whack that onto oh if i can get me Thing on to first half goal. We're all between 10.01 and 20. We're going to have a scan across League One and absolutely nothing of any interest there whatsoever. In fact, you want to get into looking at the, you know, we have got lay columns in this and we'll do lay columns there. Andy, you might have missed my fixed odds trade on a goal, Coventry to win away at Sheffield Wednesday. Right, hold on a minute, Andy, I'll get that on. Coventry. Look at this. I am a man of many talents today. Coventry to win away at Sheffield Wednesday. Match odds. Coventry. Where's that gone? I've got about 800 games loaded in here. There. In um, Bet Angel today. Uh, right, so we're back in Coventry. Coventry to win away on. And we're going to trade that on a goal. So we're greening up if Coventry take the lead. That's on. Okay. 
So I've got Stephen and ENF is going to tell, can we drip first 10 minutes and remove, remove on goal? Okay, that's fine. Thank you, Ian. So we are just need, uh, hold on a minute, Heidenheim. Uh, you just copy, he's copying my old mega truck table here. Good lad, I like it. Pressure on now. Heidenheim, 1.5 first half drip. Okay, pen and paper, writing it all down. Um, so you can see there, League One, 10 to 20 first half goal, absolutely nothing. Uh, but we've got, so Peter Brook can come out because there's no value in the goal, other goal markets. That's all pink. So I can bin that off there. Peter Burrow, get rid of that. And we've got Wigan and Reading. Wigan, we've got single value market. With Plymouth, we've got 10 to 20 in the 1.5. So let's put that up first because we're on 10 to 20. League one, absolutely desperate. Look at it. What a league. Look at that. Absolute. 28, 28, 28, 28. There. Put it in the bin. All the teams in League one, just put them all in the bin. Uh, and then we've got, uh, oh, championship. I'm on the wrong league. Look at that. See, what a disaster. See, I don't know anything about this, even the championship. Look at it. Look at it. Let's just see how many games that nine points is. I forgot they've gone up. 304 games. Again, it's, you know, 0.33%. Give me some here he comes. Here he comes. Uh, right. Wigan are 0 to 5 in all the goal markets. Let's just go through that. So uh, 0 0.01 to 10 in all the goal markets. We'll start with the 1.5. League 1, minus 13 points. No. Let's change it to 2.5. So now we're looking at this column. League 1. Three points. Let's just see. It will be a load of games. 280 games for three points in League 1. Put it in the bin. Just put it all in the dustbin. Up there with the old pointless league. So we've basically gone through a list of games between two and the Plymouth win 4-1 late. They should do. They've got a load of Spurs players. Uh, we've been through the 2.30, 3 o'clock kickoffs. I've simply looked at this sheet. I've looked at odds on over 2.5 games. So I filtered that when we filtered the sheet. That was one of my first filters. So again, only two filters. Just wait till you come up here. Over 2.5. I filtered my match XG to greater than 2.76. And I've then looked at these value bands, games where we've got value in the goal markets, either 0.01 to 10 or 10.01 to 20. Um, and out of these games, that those games then, I've then formed these trades. Let's just marry them up where I've scrolled. So Heidenheim, all the markets, first half 1.5. Freiburg, first half 1.5. Middlesbrough, Plymouth, uh, first half goals. So now I can just formulate, right, how do I want to trade them? I don't want to be in everything from the start. I don't want to be putting myself under pressure. I want to be able to, be able to keep an eye on them. So I certainly wouldn't be entering all three markets at once, uh, trying to juggle what I'm going to do. So... The first half goal ones are really easy for me. You know exactly what I'm going to do there. I would wait there. If it was nil-nil on 20, 25 minutes, I would drip a point in then. So that would be drip from 25. Drip from 25. Can drag that down there as well. Uh, this one here, first half 1.5. In the Bundesliga, the first thing I'll do then is look at the starting price. So I'm just going to get that game loaded up. That is Freiburg. I think I've got that market loaded, actually. Um, 4.5 and the 2.5. Let's get the Freiburg 1.5 market up. First half 1.5. I'll just have a look at price of that. Freiburg, first half, 1.5, 2.48. So what I'll do there in that game, I'm going to wait about 15 minutes and wait till the price gets up till about 4, 5. Um, 
if you remember, it lost slightly in the first half goal market. So all I want to do is I don't want to put myself under, oh, there's definitely going to be a goal. If you get in at four five upwards, that will give you a nice trade even on a single goal. So I'm going to wait until the price gets to 4.0, which will probably take 10 to 15 minutes. And then I will drip in there and I'll drop it, drip in from four through till about 10. And that will give me plenty of wiggle room if one goal goes in to green up or remove my liability. This one's slightly different because we've got the cover. We know that it wins in these markets. Markets as well. So I'm just again going to have a look at that. I've put a bet on for somebody in that game. So I know I've got it uh, up here. He says, do, do, do. Oh no, it's broken. I'll put the bet on. Oh no, it's fine. Oh, it's Ian's, uh, Ian's trip, isn't it? We haven't put anything in it yet. I had a little panic then. I missed a bit. Uh, Hyde and Hain. First half goal is 1.5. That's 3.05 pre-match. So, again, it's 3.05. I'm just going to wait 5, 10 minutes, and I'm going to drip that in. Drip it in from sort of prices four up. However, if that game then got to nil-nil at half time, what I'd do, I'd go into the two ahead and I would play this really small. This will be about 1.2 to lay, so I'll be able to just lay that short. So I'd lay the 2.5 um, at half time, but I won't play those unless we get to that. So what I'm going to do is just move those, to those two over there because I'm not fussed about them for the minute. And I'm just going to copy that up there. And now I've turned that list into 2.30, 3 o'clock, a couple of games that, or four games that I'm going to trade. Two, I'm going to wait and see if it's nil-nil. But the first, the ones that kick off in literally four minutes, uh, I am going to wait until that price gets up to sort of four each for this. It'll get there quicker on Heidenheim because that's slightly bigger um, to start out. That's three to start. Uh, and I'm going to drip in there, and then I can green on a goal or do what I want to do. I've got about 82 phone messages. Hold on a minute. Andy has messaged his bet. Yeah, I've got that. Thank you. The old secretary is keeping me in check here. I'm a busy man. Um, right, I just want to check the price on Bochum. Right, those of you who are on... Hold on a minute. Just need to stop sharing a minute because I've got to check something. Those of you who are on... Uh, Destiny bets, Heidenheim, Heidenheim, Heidenheim doesn't qualify there. Heidenheim has drifted, so that is great. So those of you who get my Destiny bets, Heidenheim has drifted. I'll do the three o'clock later. Uh, Mark's a good tipper, learnt it all. Oh, we're dripping that in. Uh, I think we're good. I think we're good. Uh, Stephen Gifford. Is Stephen Gifford in there? I haven't got Stephen Gifford. What's, what's all this flipping Wigan and Oldham talk here? Flipping dearie me. I've got yours, Andy. Right, lovely. Right, does everybody get what I've just been through there? That all seemed a little bit manic. Typical, nice FTS productions. Uh, let me just put that in that room. Thank you, John B. I like people like you on the ball. Helping us out in that chat room there. Right, we're good. Have Palace got three goals back yet? Oh, no, five now it's finished flipping, dearie me. Hodgson out. He would be off fixing the other new two, honestly. Uh, right. Get that back up a minute. I'm coming back in. Hold on a minute. Let me get that. Let me get that. Share that screen up and then I'll answer these questions. Uh, window. Do, 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 do. Oh, no. There, couldn't find it. There. Uh, right, let me just ask these questions. So, Ian, so even if it's over two for over 2.5, five minutes out, you would play 
for the German games, even if it's over two for over 2.5, five minutes out, you'll play the German games. You are going by the sheet only. Uh, so these, these here are going by the sheets only. Yeah, I mean, if we pop in, what you can do, I, I get your question now, right? So the Heidenheim game, because that obviously since the time I did that. So I took those odds just before I came on, which was just before two o'clock. The Heidenheim game has gone out to 202. So you can see here now that we've got odds bands for Heidenheim, 1.56, 9.87, 15. All I would do, Dylan, there, and you are quite right, the odds had moved before we do get involved. I've done, um, what's the name, if I'm finally over 2.5 market. For example, I can pop that in there, 2.02, and see where it moves it. But because it's such big value, it's not going to move it very far. So it's never going to be something that is going to um, really affect me. I mean, the first half gold market was 1.42, has gone off 1.44. So as I put 1.44 in there, you can see this figure changes. We're actually getting more value, so it's putting it up. So I'm going purely on the value on the sheets. Remember, I'm just showing loads of stuff to people here, that, a way to do it. Um, but you can just put it in there and see. We're just getting tremendous value. Obviously, if the price moves out, we're getting even more value. Uh, so I hope that's clear if it's not come back to me. Uh, and Darren, uh, so the championship, you check value between 10 and 20 and all odds on, on first half goal market was terrible for first half goal, 1.5. However, is it worth looking at price bands as if you put between 2.3 odds as if you put between 2.3 odds, it's first and most first off. You can do that, Dan. You can narrow it down. I'm trying to be as broad brush as people. I think one of the things I've been trying to get across this week is uh, people do far too much of that. From what I'm seeing and what people send me, and I mean, Kerry will back up. We get sent sheets every single week. Can people look at them? Uh, can I look at them? Can you look at what I'm doing? And nearly everybody is just making everything far too narrow. Coming up with, I mean, I got sent one the other day for season bets from the guy going back six, seven. Apologies if you're in there. And he's got like 38 bets in 2016, 27 bets in 2017. It adds up to like two, 300 bets, but it's like 30 bets a season. Uh, I'm just trying to show people you can actually be a bit more aggressive, a bit more broad brush, rather than trying to get stuff into um, really small. We, you know, you keep if you if you filter data down, you can find a bet. I'm just trying to be really broad brush. I've literally applied two filters here. Um, Darren's, you know, Dylan's dead right. I don't personally get involved in a lot of games over two over two point five. This Heidenheim game has tripped over, but in doing that, it's actually giving us more value in the odds. It's not like it's let from two up to two point four, and we're thinking somebody's legs dropped off, or as you would in a horse race. Um, I'm just trying to get it that people get a bit more widespread approach to it um, is what I'm trying to get over, hopefully. Uh, Ian, just checking. If Heinheim 0-0 at half time, you would trade two up 1.5 and lay under 2.5. Yes, Paul. We'll have a look at the prices. I'm going to be here. We'll have a look at the prices if it gets to that stage. Hopefully it doesn't uh, because we want Ian Fincham to win some money. Um, but if it does get to that, then... Uh, yeah, then I'd look at it. And I just always, it's such a cheap lay to lay under 2.5. Uh, but, you know, sometimes you get a couple of quick goals and you can make lovely green, but it's just such a cheap lay to have that if you get goals in the first 15, 20 minutes, you know, you can get yourself out of it. Um, so I've got no problem doing that. Keep the questions coming. This is good. This is good. So I feel like I'm absolutely sweating. I feel like I'm clicking everywhere. I'm trying to read all these messages as well. Uh, oh, I just want to get, get my football 24 up. Right, so Heidenheim's up to 3.25 uh, already. I'm dripping your money in, by the way, uh, Ian Fincham. I haven't forgotten you. Your money is going in. There's four minutes gone. All the games are nil-nil. Germany last week, for those of you who joined us, was an absolute cancer for goals. But hopefully this week they get their, um, their game in order. So what we've we done, we've backed over 3.5 at Cologne. We've backed one and a half first point, 1.5 at uh, 
Bochum, Bochum, Bochum. Back mill, back mill way. Um, back Coventry, Coventry away, but we're trading there, aren't we, if they take the lead. Okie dokie. It's all right. We're all off and running. Uh, from about quarter two, I will probably go quiet. Don't fret, as I say, I've just got a lot of stuff to check for my own bits um, in uh, the three o'clock kickoffs, and I've just got to let some people know. Play out the sky, blues. Here we go. I think Germany kicked a lot of people in the shins last week. The old Christmas turkey was still floating around the Stollen. When are the um, when's the pointless back, or have they packed up? Are they folded ill? I haven't seen any pointless games for ages. I like to see how my boys are getting on. My mother wells and my Hibernians. They folded the league up, decided it's a waste of time. Just play four old firms a year. Scottish Cup weekend, you can't be involved then. Scottish Cup, who's... Who's where? Oh my, look at the names of the team. What's, look at who we've got here. The Kelty Hearts, Brora Rangers, Bonnie Rig Rose. They're having a wind up now, aren't they? This is just an absolute wind up. Broomhill FC, Bonnie Rig Rose, Kelty Hearts. Do me a favour. Dundee Kilmarnock, Motherwell home to Alloa. Oh, Whips, tough one away, the four farm. No on them later. Just for the entertainment purposes. A few of them get annoyed. A few of the old jocks get annoyed with me for taking the mickey. They get all upset. You'll see I don't discriminate. It was League One this afternoon. I didn't have any jock to look at, so we'll go for League One. Fold it up. Championship and then League Two. We're going to be in that soon anyway, so we'll still be involved, Mark. All right, looks like there um, might have been a goal at Iden 9. There is. There you go. Iden 9. See this here? Iden 9. See? First half, 1.5. Goal. Roof's done. Roof's finished. Sorted. Well, yeah, it is. <laughs> come on come on right what do you want to what do you want to do well, you had two drips matched uh ian you didn't get the third one in i was just about to do it and it, it's gone in do you want me just to remove liability for you you've got 40 37 minutes for another goal that's what i'm doing i'm not i'm not i don't care what you tell me we're gonna we're not gonna take green we're gonna go for the for the full 37 minute the winner Made you a bit of money. I haven't got a goal at Fry, but yeah, we're going for it. That's it. Fourteen favours the brave son. Cut the lot. Cut the lot when we've got, got loads of time. Wolfsburg will get at least two more. Don't you worry. I know I've come up from Bundesliga 2 out of their depth. Well, thank you very so much, Ian. You're, you're the first one who secured my money. Anyway, I don't have to worry. I'm not actually losing anything with you. Because whenever I've done this before, most of them have been pretty good. Pretty garbage. So you've got you, you you worst case scenario or nothing, or you're gonna have some green. The others have still got a lot to go on. Um, 
might not have got any other house happening. I haven't got the Scottish Cup games on my list of uh, games either, so I won't be giving you updates, Dylan. You'll be able to watch your 10 minutes behind. Stephen Guilford is tip for tap. Not sure he is here. Me neither. Oh, well, if he ain't here, he misses out, doesn't he? Dan Williams, next Mr. Still a winner. Better write that down because I'll forget that by later. And Matt, who posted in Telegram, no, there's no prize for it, but you were a close second. I don't know which Matt it was. Some of you, I have to say, next year we need to have a, a bit more of a run-up in the Christmas dinners, because I don't want to offend anybody, but some of them are absolutely shocking. I think we need to do a little YouTube, do... From the middle of November onwards, little YouTube putting a Christmas dinner together. Someone had mashed no roast potatoes. I mean, how can you do that? Too many of you throwing Yorkshire puddings on a Christmas dinner. No, there's no baked beans on mine. That's... He's out for a yummy, mean, out for a curry. What chance you got? What chance you got? They stick their pies in buns and they eat curry for Christmas dinner. What chance have they got? What chance have we got? Oh, you can see mine. Ne next year I'll photograph mine. I'm, I've been away the last two years. I mean, I've cooked both years, but I'll be home next year. So I'll, uh, it was hard this year. Kitchen wasn't great where we stayed. Small kitchen. I was a man under pressure. I was under the cosh. Huh? It's a roll, son. They stick a pie in a roll and then they have curry for Christmas dinner. I expect you to take them seriously. Right, we need a little um, goal in uh, Bochum, don't we, Emery? Oh, here we go. We got one. We got nil one Borussia Dortmund. The old Bjorn's 3.5 is off and running. I want you to win, remember. The only person this costs is uh, it's a bread cake, Jesus Christ. I mean, that's just demented, isn't it? Yeah, that, they can't even work out what it is, so they have to go bread cake. Can't tell the difference between a bread and a cake, so they just put the two together. There you are. I wonder if any other um, football trading YouTubes talking about barn cakes. It's quality, isn't it? Right. I'm going to disappear for a little bit because I've got some work to do. All right, bear with me. Keep asking questions, chatting away. Keep me updated with results. I won't be looking at them for a minute or goals. I'm going to minimise that. Um, oh, hang on, just while you're there. Oh, Freiburg's 3.55. It's just getting up to... Uh, it's just getting up to um, about another five minutes. It'll be up to four. Freiburg's was the other first half 1.5 game. Uh, and obviously the 1.5 and 2.5 at half time in Heidenheim now are irrelevant because we've got the goal in the first half. Uh, how many drips in first half? Yeah I, yeah, I tend to do point in three drips, Carl, is the answer to your question. Right, let me do these bits here, bits and bobs. Um, yeah, like and subscribe, Dylan. You tell them it is very poor, the like and subscribe ratio. I have to say, certainly the like ratio. I get bollockings from Dave telling me not enough people like stuff. Perhaps they just don't like it. That is a, that is a possible answer. Right. 
this to me, Bristol Rovers, yes. Burton, Van der Ven, no. You've emailed, well, don't, I don't mind saving the 50 quid, Kerry. We don't have to chase them up. I don't mind, you don't have to keep giving my money away. He ain't here. He's forgotten I saved 50 bills. You know he's going to come in now and pick a loser. Head for thinking, feet for dancing. If he wins, I'll let you off. Um, right, hold on a minute, Burton, Fleetwood, Fleetwood, Fleetwood. Oh, no, right, Fleetwood, you were out. I was going to play it's like, but you were rude about it. That's a fair point. That's fair. Perfectly fair. Love League One, really. People chucking stuff on the picture for us. It's getting worse, isn't it? This social did all this stuff. You know, Ollie in the bed. Can we wait? Leave that at least till Royal Ascot. Now we have like an overdose of it. Let's just it's jump season. Let's just park Holly until the spring summer. I can't be doing with Holly yet in the middle of January. Uh, right, Stoke. 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 Okay, we're off and running. Right, what's Norwich? Norwich, terrible what happened there yesterday, wasn't it? Norwich. Right, next one, nine minutes. What jumps? They're all called cool. weather tapeta saving the game. People chucking stuff on the pitch at Freiburg, honestly. Yeah, come on. What we should be able to do is record, carry people who like it, and don't, don't let them in next time. And then when we get onto the real juicy stuff that we've got coming, all the new bits that will change their lives, then they won't be in it because they didn't like it. They'll be back in the other mob talking about both teams to score in, in the last four games. See Dan Lyons in and he must be out polishing that bus up again after the 5-0. Let's have his turtle wax out. Yeah, I like it. Don't mess with Kerry. She's like the gatekeeper. Um, right. This is good. This is much better than this football this today. Actually, games on. Tell you what, um, Alice, you've changed my life with this, you know.
do 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 Roll is a word. Bun I can get. Bread cake and balm. They're not even words. They're just invented words, aren't they? Bread cake, they're taking two things and putting it together. together. Arm, we don't, it's not even a word, is it? What are you doing, man? I'm cooking some, what, uh, balms. Hey, eh? what? Balms, what? Bless him. He's in that little thumbs up. Changed my life, the boy. If he changes my life, he'll change yours. new system in place, it's incredible. Normally I'll be clicking like a mad lunatic now, but I can just I can sit and actually I can actually sit and chillax and wait until exactly 2.55. This is amazing. Um, get me some bombs, yeah. I'm hitting the north March the 22nd, shortly after Cheltenham. I'm hitting the north. Going out was funny yesterday. He spotted your picture, Andy. Made me laugh. His little face dropped. He, he walked in, his little face went. He was a good lad, actually. He was all right, though. Good lad, yesterday. On oh, all work. Tim, no one likes a smart ass. Hide and hide. Have we had another one? Like shelling peas, isn't it? Congratulations, Ian Fincham. We'll um, get. Um, I'll get Kerry to contact you with uh, sending you some winnings. Shall we do a meet up when you come up on the 22nd? What was that pub? The Anvil. Get ourselves down the Anvil. All right, Ian Fincham, winner. Well done, Ian. You've won about 80 quid, I think it is. Let me just have a look. Heidenheim, Wolfsburg. You, yeah, you've just you've won seventy nine pounds ninety six p. There you are. See, giving it away seventy nine ninety six. Well done, son. Let's get a few others in. Oh, hang on, hold on a minute. Has it been chalked off? Because it's not suspended anymore. Ah, oh, rub it off. Rub it off. Get the chalkboard rubber out. Premature, all premature. Fucking var. Cool, good job. Good job we hadn't paid out, on it, on it. We're chasing him down the road to get it back. Kerry will be running after him. Right, is it 55 yet? No, 52. Offside. Yeah, don't worry, son. There'll be a go. Get in the cupboard. Get in the cupboard. Um, right, where are we? No one, no likes, no winnings. I like this. I love it. Huh? How did you know I'm using a rocket book? Afternoon, Andrew. Because you knew the little cloth. Did you know the little cloth? Another life changing, absolutely life changing, that is. If you haven't got a rocket, but I'm a pen and pen paper man, me, and I scribble things down. There, always have done. I'm never going to be completely digital. And I have meetings with Alistair regularly, or Dave, or Kerry, and I scribble things down, things we've got to do, or things I might have to do for them, or whatever it may be. And then I go through quite a few of these books. If I've got things of football that I'm thinking about and I want to look at, I write them down, and then. I can never find where I've written it, which page it's on in the notebooks. I've talked to Alice, so I can't find it. Now we've got a rocket book. A rocket book is a notepad. It only comes with about 10, 12 pages, A4, but you can rub it out. The pages are they're like some made, some sort of plasticky paper fiber. They write just like a normal book, but you can wipe it out. But they've got a little QR code. You can scan them, date it, send it up to your Dropbox. You never lose anything. You never have to find anything. It's all dated. Absolutely fantastic. 
absolutely awesome. Right, we're off. Let me do these games. I'll go quiet for two minutes. Oh, I love it there. Look at that. All gone grey. Flipping brilliant. This is uh, right. Plymouth, no, Plymouth and Barra, I'll wait 20, 25 minutes. Right, this will mean a, not much to many other people. What we'll be doing, I'll get to that, be back to these in a minute. Um, right, those of you who do Destiny, Van de Vens, people, you don't understand what I'm talking about unless you know. Uh, Bristol Rovers, Destiny, Burton, Van de Ven, Sheffield Wednesday, Destiny, Stoke, Van de Ven, Peterborough, Mabbott, Ignore, Orient, uh, Madison, and the two Conti games. Stoke play at half time if we lose the Van de Ven. There we go. I'll post all that and then you'll know what I'm talking about. And there's other people in here going, what is he talking about? There you go. Uh, just a little group that I'm uh, nudging along. Um, right, there we go. Yeah, they don't kick off. Rocket book, Lee. Honestly, brilliant. Rocket book. It comes with a pen with it that you just, and you just get a cloth. You can rub it off. Brilliant. Absolutely spot on. Uh, Right, where are we? Freiburg, Wolfsburg, Heidenheim. Let me just get some scores up. Okay, good. Right, um, what we're looking at, these German games. Let's get me old football 24 up. Or Freiburg. Yeah, Freiburg, somebody said, are we going to do a cover bet? Yeah, I'll, I will cover at... Uh, Trading system name supplies need a list of best best systems. Got to be Gaza and Teddy. Um, we've had a few of them. Uh, yes, Freiburg. I will back. We backed one point five first goals. If there's nothing, I'll back 0.5 point five first half goals at three plus. Just as a little cover bet for my stake. Uh, in answer to you, Chris Kent. 
high and high. We've still got plenty of time. 15 minutes. Don't even need to sweat it. The one that's looking dodgy is old Imri's Bochum versus, who are they playing? Stuttgart. Haven't Stuttgart got that fantastic forward? I can't remember his name. Useless for player names unless the Spurs players. And they've got that fantastic forward who's going to be a Spurs legend soon. Oh, he's at the AFCON, is he? Okay. I love how you boys keep up with all that. Yeah, the old Germans, two goals. What's gone on? What's happened at Christmas? Loads of time. Memory. Right, three o'clock's just about to kick off. Is that when our Scottish friends are playing? Got to keep me posted with that, my little Motherwell and Hibs friends. Or he'll be he'll be un, he'll be uncontrollable if Ibs go out to flipping four far. Where are what league are four far in? It must be in something like the the Loch Lomond Super League or something. Oh, we're off and running. All right, so now I've got to look out for Coventry taking the lead and trade on a goal of nine if they go one up. Okay. Hearts needed an injury time goal to beat Spartans. Had the laugh, and I do that so often, Darren, to get excited. Imri's, Imri's making goal predictions now. He's going to get his two first half goals in the 43 and 43rd and 45th minute. I understand, Aaron. You are the first time ever that I went on. Um, TikTok today, and it was your fault, I understand. I've never ever been on TikTok, but I got sent a link that took me to TikTok. Yes, that's no. The uh, no, it wasn't that. Um, speaking English, one it was. Frankfurt. Who's that? Oh, that's Richmond's bet, isn't it? Oh, no, no. What did I go for this week? Sheffield United, isn't it? Draw. Richmond gets no, gets his schnoz in front. Right, let's get some goals in these games.
Oh, what my missus is doing out there, mate. Never a racket. Sounds like she's packing up. Perhaps she's, perhaps she's, um, perhaps she's legging it, leaving me while I'm in here. Uh, I did watch. Yeah, I, I only had a fleeting watch of the golf. The um, I'll take him on, Rory. I think the winner will be Cameron Young or Moronk. There you go. Hopefully, Moronk come on the Frankfurt as he is. Oh, here he comes, popping up. Popping up. Right, Bristol Rovers, Blackpool, goal. Destiny, Bristol Rovers, Blackburn, goal. Come on, the Frankfurters. Sonic might strike. Murder you two. Speed. Well, I had no chance just now. The roof is there. I'm trying to get the roof has started on the job and you're trying to get me to tip up football matches. We'll be sorting them rules out in the summer. Speak to Alistair about the files as well, who gets access early. Right, we're off and running. Right, that now it's all a little bit settled down. We've done that. Freiburg, go, oh, there you go. What people were panicking about. Beautiful. As long as we don't get Vard off. B E A, these are the beautiful ones. When you've got it all in at big prices, this is when you can get all excited. You've got your cover bet in, you just what was offside? Oh what? No one asked you. Harry Monk, I don't know what game it, I can see this is where, I don't know what Harry Monk is, um, he said offside, I don't know what he's talking about. Is it offside? He might be watching it, I've no idea. It's up on my screen, 38 minutes, it's suspended on Betfair. Or has it been chalked off? Balls? I don't know what's going on. Has it been chalked off? Oh, another VAR. Oh, does kill the game, doesn't it? Kills the, kills the excitement. You lot watch. I don't watch, so it's even more. Egan Samuel. Or afternoon, sorry. Oh, it's... Uh, Harry, just wait till it's done. You're putting me through tortures here. Just wait until it's all finished and then do it. Look, I'm, I'm up, I'm down. Good job I'm not an emotional individual. Gold stands, Kevin Kelly. Or oh, another one. This could be like Lil last week, see? It'd be another one. See, we just do this every week. I don't need to do any of the other stuff. Um, right, I was going to say before the excitement of that going in, excitement sapped away from me, back in, in, out. Uh, what I went through that, Half two to two to half two when I went through the mega table. Did anybody got any questions? Did that all make sense? You can watch it back, of course. One thing with these, they stay stay up on YouTube. You can go back and watch them at any time. You can get in amongst all the other nonsense that I talk about. Farm cakes. What's um
Van de Ven, goal, Stoke. Racing Gink has been the goal. Made total sense, good, lovely. I'm only joking with you, Eric, don't worry, son. I don't get up or down at all. You just add it all up at the end of the day, all goes on. I couldn't watch it and watch for it, it would drive me bananas. I mean, it's, it's bad enough clinging on to goals, but sitting clinging on to VAR decisions as well would drive me. Imagine that, doing that all day Saturday. Christ almighty. Right. It's looking like, I hate to say it, Emery, but it's looking like I'm doing my dose, and unless your um, prediction comes true. Look for two very, very late ones. Pointless, pointless cut. Motherwell are one up here at the will. No VAR in League One. No. And when you see the returns, there's no fucking goals either. Still only three likes, really. Well, I'll we'll boot them all out, kid. Boot them all out. Get rid of them. Plymouth. Plymouth, goal early, 10. Goal in the 10th minute, Plymouth. Losing. Oh, they were going to win 3 1. We got a Plymouth supporter, weren't we? In him. Who was that? Carl? Got the old Spurs. Got, you got a couple of Spurs players in, son. You're getting beat. Right, I want this Idenheim, is the one. I want old Ian to win his money. He got that nice early goal. Didn't green up. I want him to get his dosh. So let's have a little, uh, particularly when you've had one Vard off, that's never nice. Let's have another little Wolfsburg goal. Little Freiburg goal would be nice. Yeah. Imri's absolutely tucked me up, done me up. Could do with another one at Borussia Dortmund as well. Who's that? Bjorn. It's amazing how shit you lot are when I give free bets away. Done about three grand in the last two years, just in you lot, free bets. You're all terrible. We need a new, we need a new prize system, Kerry. You've got till next Christmas to come up with a new prize system. Perhaps we'll buy a load of cuddly toys like they have at the fun fair. Oh, Freiburg suspended. Suspended for a horrid tackle. Okay. The boys are on the game, see? That should be red card penalty. Didn't matter wherever it is in the pitch. Where did I get my rocket book? Uh, I got it in, um, I got it off, um, that's a Uh, no, I didn't get it from NASA, funnily enough. I got it from, um, got it online, ordered it online. I can't remember if it was Amazon or somewhere else. I don't think it was Amazon. Can't remember the way I just, Alistair told me about them and I just Googled it and got one. Rocket books are 30 quid on Amazon. Uh, I don't know whether the small R with the capital letters makes a difference to that price or not, but there we go. Mugs always go down well. We've got a few mugs. A few mugs in here. Uh, or we could mass produce the Christmas Spurs decorations. Yeah. Rocket mortgage. Mortgages. Don't swear at me. Don't have mortgages. Go. 
Gink. Why is Gink suspended as well? If I'd started my stream 10 minutes earlier, you'd have asked me to bet Arford Guy to win in Nevin. I hope that you are not after time in here. We do not put up with after timing in this room. That will be that will be a red card if there's any after timing. Norwich have taken the lead. None of this at Norwich. Got kicked out of there. Only two grounds in my life I've been kicked out of Norwich City and Aston Villa. None of this at Norwich. Villa just don't know how to behave. Villa misbehave themselves, then kick you out. Yeah, none of that at Norwich. I can still hear it. I can still hear that plug. Oh, Germany, you're producing. Germany producing uh, next to no goals. John Lewis have rocket books. Kerry, have you got a rocket book? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I've got you one. I bought you a present. See, I've got you one. See, I just had a thought then. I know what you'll do. You'll go and buy one. I've got you. I bought you one. The reason I bought you one is because you always moan at me when I change something and you have to cross out your lovely handwriting and that. See, now you'll just be able to rub it out, put it back in, upload to Dropbox. We've got a system, so I've got you a little rocket book here, just sitting waiting. Oh, hi tonight, 45th minute, injury time. Ian, I knew you were gonna buy one. See, that's why I thought I'd better tell you. I wasn't gonna tell you, I was gonna give it to you when I see you. And I thought I have to tell you, because I know what you'll do. You're always moaning about me making you cross things out. Ian, it was 79 when it went in earlier, but it's gone down. I've had to take tax off now. No, you've got yourself 79, whatever. We got there in the end. We all did this before, mind. We've done all these well done's earlier. Well done, Ian F. Walked you through it. Who would back over one and a half goals at Bochum? Done my dough. I gave you two German games. Bochum, uh, Heidenheim, Freiburg, goals. You come up with Bochum all on your own and I'll do 100 nicker. Oh, we need to rethink this all, Kerry. We need to rethink it. Take your money out of my kids' mouths. Right, what else we got? Millwall. Didn't fancy Millwall. I had a look at that game. I didn't fancy that. And um, Coventry. At least if Millwall don't win, we can blame old Balm Cakes, can't we, Paul? We can do that. Who would go for over 3.5 goals at Cold? There, having seen what went on in the German League last week. Coventry, fancy Coventry. Oh, I don't know. Tough game. It's Sheffield Wednesday, slowly getting their selves in order. Basically, you've all had a disaster, Buster. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Second goal at Bristol Rovers, Destiny. Yeah, I like that, Paul. That's good tactics. I like that. 
Mark told me to do it, miss. Um, where's that sheet? Oh, where's that sheet? Barra coming up to 20, 25 minutes. Barra's the late drip first half goal, about five minutes time. But we had the Plymouth's already had a goal, they're one down. Probably, if I click that, it's probably an own goal by one of the Spurs players. Absolute scenes here. Dog may need to be sedated. <laughs> Love it. I'm very pleased for you, Ian. Well done. Happy happy Christmas. 20 days after the event, or 25, six days after the event, but well done. Please, for you. Right, we'll take these through to half time. I may be back tomorrow as well. I haven't looked at what's on tomorrow, but what football's on the TV tomorrow? Who's the who's the um, league games? Not oh, because it's sadly still there's not many games on, is there? Because it's still the old split. Isn't there? Got no Ange ball this week. Nobody knows what to do when there's no Ange ball. Carl, are you asking Reed Middlesbrough what time do we drip? The blades are on tomorrow, are they? Another resounding defeat then. Oh, it's the draw. Blades West Ham draw, isn't it? Of course it is. I'll put it up in the thing, mate. Yeah. If it's not a draw, it's a game I don't mind you winning. Uh, 25 30 35, Carl. I want to get it all in really with 10 minutes to go. Give yourself a chance. Well, I don't mind the old blades winning tomorrow. Please. Yeah, if you, I could do with a draw, get the old points on the board in the uh, game. But It was under 1.5 first half goals at Freiburg. It was 1 0. It's an exact calendar month since I've had an alcoholic drink. My last drink was. Uh, my last drink was uh, December the 20th. That's the last alcoholic drink I had. You're more than welcome, Emery. Have another go next year, see if you can wipe some money out of me. I was at Bristol Rovers. Right, we'll stay through see these um, bar bets. The uh, guys who've got the other ones, are, they're all on. Steve, Steve Gifford have done me the best favour, saved me 50 quid, didn't turn up. Bless him. So I'm going to do 100, 200, 300 nicker if none of these other ones start to go our way. People need 
deal with. Yeah, big game tonight. Niners. Oh, Barra. Goal. Looking at Iron Man rather than off the line. It's all right, Jim. Easy mistake. Oh, no, not Barra goal. Just suspended to tease us. Burton Albion won up. Fleetwood losing. Portsmouth won up. Yes, Paul. So, yes, Paul. We're going to nil nil. Next, uh, nil nil. This is team. Uh, I can close the mega table. You're all, you're all clear as, clear as mud on that. Easy. So at that mega table, we ended up hiding home first off 1.5. We got two goals. Freiburg 1.5. We got one goal. Plenty to cover. Plymouth Cardiff first half goal. We've got it. Middlesbrough the only game. Obviously, I'm not saying we got paid at Plymouth because I enter late, but I'm just saying that you see how the goals came in those games. We just went through a logical approach. Odds on the start with match XG, break than 2.76. Values in the goal markets. You could sit and pick any time slot you wanted and just work through it that way. But the, one of the key things is make it obvious that only the ones that really stand out. Not all. Oh, there's a tiny little bit of profit, and I'm bored, and I want to have a play. I mean, I couldn't believe what I was reading in the room the other day. People, beginners, or oh, what's the rules? One point seven and under. It's one point seven two. I'll do it anyway. What do you think we put prices there for? What's the what's the point in us putting? We might as well not put any criteria. We might as well just say do what you fucking want. You wonder why I get annoyed, you lot. It drives me fucking mad. Is 1.72 less or equal 1.7? No, your fucking dog could get that right. All QPR 1 nil up. See what did I tell you? Didn't fancy that today. Drives you mad, makes me wild. There you go, look, I'm an upseller. Get the old right hook out. I don't understand what part of sitting on your hands people cannot do. This ain't not useless. Well, I'm saying nothing, but if you can't see it. Four five lost a player. Four five got a player in the Fcon. Flipping it. Um, I'm just going to look at something. Just looking at that. Right. 
talked about this song a little bit. Let's do that. On what we could do. Right, let's just do it. Penalty to Hibs. Uh, there you go. You know, I get loads. I get more than Rangers. No, that's why I looked at QPR. I was looking where I, why I looked at the QPR Millwall game, Paul. If you look at the, the ELO, uh, oh, Motherwell 1-1 one, one with Aloha. Flipping. Aloha, hello. Aloha, aloha. Flipping dearie me. Sort you two out when I'm up in the summer. QPR Millwall. Look at the ELO Trends Finder. If you look at the old... Elo Trends Finder for that game. 13.7.9 points back in home teams. In 24 games when QPR are in the minus 150 to 101 bracket. Good sheet that Trends Finder, isn't it? Let's pick play a game. What's he talking about? I could have showed you. I've closed it now. There's a YouTube on it somewhere, or it's somewhere. I don't know. Right, come on, the old Middlesbrough. Time you got yourselves in a little tickety boo. Old Michael Carrick, total football. Oh, hang on as well. Might have a couple here. There is plenty of time to go. ELO trend finder rapidly becoming one of my favourites. There you go, Pat Harvey. See, what can't speak can't lie. Maybe somebody probably telling me that Pat Harvey's my dad or something like that. Um, Fund. Plymouth equalised. Algeria versus Burkina Faso. Flipping during Oxford was Lincoln Derby. Lincoln Derby, nil nil. Old Green Army. Flipping dearie me. That's put a bit of a note. Lincoln note. Just looking. Leighton Orion Bolton. You can get my mate in Bolton. Leighton Orion Bolton. I think that drifted like. Yeah. Right, what about Fleetwood? There's been a goal. Just off a completely different method. The only one, I, other one I like, a late goal, which you could drip in there if you wish to. Too. I was just having a look at that. Is uh, late no, it ten nil incoming? You're an idiot. Uh, is uh, I think that illness has gone to your head, son. Uh, Peterborough, Peterborough, Shrewsbury, Peterborough. Sparta Prague Copenhagen friendly match. Well, Bjorn, yeah, he must be. Um, oh, suspended at suspended at Wigan. Which way is it gone? Is he smiling or is he not? Yeah, he's smiling. One nil up to the Wigan. Cheer him up. Get a few goals in him. <laughs> Just hope the Reading fans don't invade the pitch again. Turn that 
vamos. Oh, this is turning out ugly. Yeah, what's happened there? Oh. Oh, I need another one. If I get another one at Bert and Albin, you can see me do a bit of moonwalking. If we get another one, uh, I didn't give you that one. That's just, I just was checking my, some of my automation is fine. If we get another one at Bert and Albin, might be just um I'll forgive all of you who've given me shit bets this afternoon. Never had so much interest in Sheffield Wednesday Coventry. See, I hate Coventry as well. You should know that. Who was that? Andy Lord, you should know that. My fucking jeans pissed on. We need Billy, yeah, Billy Brewer. That's what we need, sir. We need Billy. We need. I just, I just check some automation there. We need the, we need the old. Where is he? Brilliant. That still one of my favourite ever FTS stories when he told me that. So I was just, I start smiling every time I think of it. I'm gonna write a book next year. Not this year. I haven't got time, but next year. I'm gonna write a um I'm gonna write a little book. I'm gonna do some trading stories and some life stories entwined with it and some trading advice, bit of everything. Oh, Chrissy said he'd ghost write it for me. None of you are having it unless you like my flipping thing. It'll be double price. If you haven't liked a YouTube in the last 12 months, it'll be double the price. Right, time for Middlesbrough to get one. Time's for Peterborough to get one. Hang back out the train. I want to cry that. Brilliant as well. Absolute legendary that was. John Lewis, I'm welcomed with open arms. They love me. I keep their lobby clear of hoodlums. I think the handbag out of the train is my favourite story of all time. Just absolute quality. <laughs> the old schoolmaster's coming. <laughs> the old head teacher. Testicles. That wasn't my favourite. Sam Cassidy had the snit this day. He texted me in the morning. I said, I hope it doesn't go like mine, son. I can see why it's a funny story for you lot, but it wasn't any funny for me. Right, we need some goals at Dortmund. We need Coventry to net one. We need QPR to have a... They are prone to a fold, that's all I'll say. QPR. Middlesbrough, Peterborough, Jobs good. Fast start at Estoril Aruka. I've forgotten about the petrol pump incident. There's certain ones I wipe out of my memory. I'd forgotten that one. It was a dark day. I won't be hiring a van again. Es Escalator was just being drunk. That was just silliness. The petrol pump wasn't really my fault. That was their fault because they didn't fill it up with petrol. They should have given me it with petrol in it. And then I wouldn't have had to pull in so quickly. I'd have had time to get used to the, the van. Admonishing my, uh, absolving myself of responsibility there. Had some crackers over there, a couple of these I've forgotten about. I've forgotten about the petrol pump. Mm. 
Right, Burton Albion. Get another one. Up the barrow. Steve Elliott in here. Get your team shifting, Steve. And Peter, very, very disappointing. Will I reveal the fiction book I'm going to make a review? I will, when I make the review. <laughs> My favourite fiction book of all time. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've forgotten about that as well. The... Uh, my favourite fictional book of all time is Catch-22. Brilliant book. Fantastic. The posh can stay how it is, thanks. No, it cannot, Sam. Every goal makes someone happy and someone unhappy. That's the way it's always been. It's the way it'll always be. I've seen a Royal Oscar book, Catch-22. It's a great book. It's my favourite book of all time. Read it about 20 times. Ah, oh, Frank for another one. That's that done and dusted. Oh, I'm under the cosh now. Don't like the pressure of it. Need a draw tomorrow. Need a draw tomorrow. Who's the other one backed? Oh, quick bollocks in. He's got... When are they playing? They must be playing tomorrow. He's got Glad back and they're not playing today. Been... Loving it, mate. I love it. Tomorrow they're playing tomorrow, are they? They're backers. Best of luck to you. I do hope they win. That's the thing, because I want, if anybody's done the treble, I want it to come in. It's good for the newsletter. Catch-22 is a difficult read for non-natives. Yeah, maybe. Great book. Fantastic story. It's a bit like dealing. Catch twenty two is a bit like dealing with some of you lot. Right, going to do another four or five minutes. Let's see if we get these goals. Ching ching ching. Burton, Peterborough, Middlesbrough, all in one little five minute spell. And I can do cartwheels. I go and see what my missus done. God knows what she's been doing. Peterborough, there you go. There you go. What, see? See how I just sit that one out for you? Winner at the newsletter, winner, nine to four into 11 to eight. Who wanted, was it Peterborough? Push, Posh can stay over. Yeah, one flew over clear rock. Posh have scored. No, they haven't. Shrewsbury have scored. Sorry, Sam Clay. As I said, every goal makes a lot of people at me. And one unhappy, I've got to go. Oh, Coventry have taken the lead. Coventry have taken the lead. Andy, hold on a minute. Flipping, dearie me. Greeting up, Andy. We'll let it settle for a minute. No, see, I told you they're all going to go in. If Burton now, if Burton score now, if Burton score, I'm going to get super. I mean, who picked? Who picked Millwall to beat QPR? Honestly. Right, we'll green that up, Andy. Kerry will contact you in the week. Uh, I'm out on Monday, so it'll be Tuesday with your winnings. I'll tell you what they are in a minute. Uh, I'll just give it a second to settle down. Look, see how I spring into action. I'm like a striking slug. Ready to go straight away. Goal, bang. See, not many people can piss about like me and still do this. Oh, into 1.41. Green it up. Andy, you've got a tax-free, you've got a tax-free, tax-free, easy for you to say, a tax-free profit, no matter what happens now, of £27 for your £50 stake. There you go. That is how it's done. Nice and easy, son. Right, so this bit, and you've saved me 50 quid. You go on my good list. You can win again. Right, Andy's got 27. Ian F's got 79. Imri's done a one-er. Barra, here he is. 
Middlesbrough huffing and puffing, no goals yet. Total football. Michael Carrick, total football. I'm more disappointed that Burton I haven't got another one, really. Or Charlton. That would be lovely if one of them. There's plenty of time still, you know, five, six minutes extra. Right. And the arms on 3.5, 50 minutes, 1 0. Millwall away. Who would back Millwall away? Unless you're on some form of powder. They only score about five goals a season, Millwall, don't they? David Bell. Who's got to refresh the page? What's that? What have I done? Have I done something wrong? I don't know who he's talking to. Oh, right, OK. I thought I was getting a bollocking from the, from the governor there. Sheffield Wednesday commentary suspended again. Doesn't look good in Colm. Yeah, now you tell us. Too obvious, wasn't it? It was too obvious. Trying to go for these odd, these certainties like that. <laughs> Thinking out of the box a bit. Over three and a half at Blackburn Rovers. All Bristol Rovers, any Rovers. Over three and a half at any Rovers. Still nil nil at Leighton Orient. My 10 nil was not looking good. Well, we got the Peterborough one over the line. We haven't got the um, other one at Peterborough, would be lovely, by the way. Uh, Peterborough or Burton Albion. Either of them two, another one. 63 likes. Lovely. Thank you ever so much, guys. Thank you. Much appreciated. Well done, Kerry. Driving it. And Dylan driving it. No art this week. Is he all right? I hope he hasn't fallen in his ninja blender. Freiburg. Now they get a second. There you go, Freiburg off and on, 2 0. Freiburg last week, couldn't it? A barn door with a banjo when I put them up. It's the joys of it, isn't it? See, put them up in the newsletter last week, shite. Thought about it this week, I thought, no, don't do the same team again. Get yourself in bother. Uh, are they still in here, old Sonic and Flipping Forest? Somebody's asked if we'll do a video on how we pick the games. That would be one to watch for the tipping comp. <laughs> oh, brilliant, Kerry. <laughs> Quality. Uh, thank you, Lee. Um, yeah, so if you're up for that, Mark and Andy, somebody's emailed in saying, can we do a video of uh, how we pick the games on a Friday? I'll leave it to you. I don't want to put you under the cosh in a public scene, but I just have. Um, big game tonight, isn't it? Nine as it's getting closer. As soon as this finishes, I get all excited. Middlesbrough, absolute shite. Sorry, team, for the Middlesbrough one. We're looking like a nice little... Nice, oh, seven minutes injury time. Always got me excited again. We went through a nice little... We went through a nice little... I don't know. It'll be a short video for our... Forest, wasn't it? Because he does it in about five seconds. I'll have barely pressed record. He go, that's it, bang, gone, I'm off. Um, I thought we were going to get the old mega table system full implementation. Burton, you've let me down. Disappointing. Very disappointing. Bristol City one, Watford one. Lincoln nil, Derby nil, but it looks like, is there a goal at Lincoln Derby? Or is it just half time? Oh, Martin getting all excited. Right, I'm going to stay until this Barrow game finishes, team, and then I'm going to leave you. Yeah, I may well be back. I may, yeah, thank you, everyone. I may well be back tomorrow. I enjoy it. Particularly now I've got new systems in place. I've got not quite so frantic. Norwich, West Bromwich, equal line. Oh no, crossed off. Oh, half time at Lincoln, it was. Five 
Freiburg 2-1 now. See, why didn't you do over three and a half at Freiburg? See? No, crossed off, Gink, go, gone. All right, well, congrats. We've had, yeah, we've only had two winners, Kerry. It's um, Andy Lord and uh, Ian Finchin. Uh, the 3.5, I've chalked that down, that ain't winning. Um, I'd say 50 quid steam, so the 3.5 ain't winning. We need Millwall to come back at QPR. And uh, that's it. Everything else is done. Can I change now? Yeah. Yeah, that's how it works. Basically, for your better land, Dortmund would have had to score four because Cohen are shite. Right, it's all on middle I still I feel something's gonna happen. I feel it in the water that we're gonna get a sudden leap up. 45 plus four. Rather than take the lead. It's another beautifully run produced show. Oh, Darmstadt one back. Oh, makes it interesting. Amazing how quick that's gone. Two hours I've been on here nearly. Amazing, isn't it? How much time goes when you're having fun? If anybody watches these back, they must think I'm absolutely some form of lunatic. Oh, don't mention Luna. I'm going to have the flipping uh, moon boys in again. Where is it? Oh, just going to have a look at the moon, see if middles were going to score. Yeah, maybe. Disappointing, Barra. Disappointing. But you see, that's why I don't go in at 1.3. Lose a point, win a point, you at 1.3. They're no fun. You get more right than you get wrong. And now we're bombing. Hide nine two one. See, why didn't you do over three point five at hide nine? Oh, suspended Middlesbrough. Is that it? Still two 0 to Frankfurt. Oh, it's two 0 Cole now. Dortmund might let him off. Is that half time at Middlesbrough? Is in it? Yeah. Oh well. Sorry, team. Let us down. North East, see? Anything? Anything north of the Watford Gap, you tend to find that's where the problems are. Uh, right, hope you've all uh, enjoyed the South Moon. Um, mental, innit? I'll be back. Uh, I'll probably will be back tomorrow for an hour or so. I'll have a look in the football and see what's up. And um, see what strategy suits what's ahead for that day. And we'll do that. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for liking and subscribing. The winners, we will sort you out in the week. Kerry will be in touch. Obviously, Emery, if your bet comes in, we'll do it. Um, uh, sorry, Bjorn, if your bet comes in. And Paul Yarwood, if it turns around, we'll do that. Uh, I will speak to you all later. Thanks, Eva, for coming in. See you later.